guys your girl Jen Trey hey welcome back to my channel and today um, well this evening Scott and I are on our way to our birthing class it's called a baby boot camp um, and basically I don't really know what to expect but from the description of it it's like like I guess basic baby stuff that you need to know we're completely clueless so um, it should be informative and you know just give us a little confidence about being new parents so we're on our way now and hopefully I can vlog while I'm in there because that would be great and just go over like some of the stuff that we're learning if you guys ever thought about taking a couple of these classes so are you ready to learn, ready to learn. he sounds super enthused about about going but how else are we gonna learn? I'm ready. You're ready? ready? You know how to change the diaper for a newborn? Yep. How do you know how to do that? Uh, change Lexi's, Ashley's. How old Sarah's. were you? You're two years older than Lexi. Ansley's. No. Ansley, we did not have her as a newborn. Yes, we did. She was like six months. That's not a newborn. No, that is to no, that is not a newborn. A newborn is a totally different world, see? He's talking about like middle-aged babies, but I'm talking middle about like, babies. yes. There is definitely middle-aged, like six-month-old is a middle-aged baby. How do you call a middle-aged baby? Yeah. <laughs> A six month old is definitely a middle aged baby. Like we're talking Ashley about. She was literally she two was, weeks old when we went and seen her. Yeah, her. we visited for an, a an hour or two. It took us an hour to get there. We didn't leave, girl. We okay, we were there for three all. hours. That doesn't make us experts, dude. Girl, we never watched her until we're like six. She was six months. Okay, six months and two weeks, and we went like two, three weeks back to back, something like that. I'm ready. Newborn, six month old, twelve hint, years. Old. Hint why we're taking this class no, because you hint why we're taking no, we're taking this class because he clearly thinks he knows it all. And I don't even think I know it all. You, I know how to change a diaper. Do you know about umbilical cord umbilical care? Umbilical cord care? No. Yes. You, you put, do not. You, you put, don't know. Uh, triple antibiotic on it and make sure. No. Wow. Wow. You have no idea. Okay, so. Look. We're gonna learn because clearly he's a freaking expert and ha he doesn't have you a know, newborn, you, never had one. Are you but gonna eat out of the amniotic sac? No? Okay. What did you just say? You gonna eat the afterbirth? No, why would I do that? That's, see, I'm you don't know about that. I'm not a carnivore. Oh, you wasn't saying that other night when you was eating them chicken wings. You know what, you guys? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let, we're gonna drive and when we get there, I'm, I'll am i turn the camera back on because clearly homeboy is tripping. Well, you was eating Chipotle last okay, night. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. We all set. See this belly, you guys? She's, she's popping. I have no idea what door it is. Maybe it's the first one. There's nobody here to ask. I'm sure she told me. Uh. So you think you're an expert now that you see this baby down here? Are you? Uh huh. Mm hmm. And then what else? Don't do this because you can push it down in there. Okay. Take them off and pot them in there. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Even if you got it. Uh huh. Yeah. Don't do this. Don't scoop. Okay. You're expert. You're expert. What do you want to see, Pastor? Call for help. Somebody call 911. I'm calling. All right. Help is on the way. What are we doing now? Checking for breathing. Baby's not breathing. What is it time to do? Compressions. All right. You're alone. How many compressions? How many breaths? Two. All right. So, I'm sorry. Before we go, before we go on, when you're doing breaths, if you try to perform. Now, but I'm gonna go ahead and. I didn't say that. You gotta be on beat, babe. 
Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. You didn't do 15. You didn't do 30. You look so calm. All right, so. Put his head back. So, that's not an inch and a half. And I know it feels like you can hurt him, but yeah. <laughs> it's like a press. Okay. Down, down. All right, I want y'all to remember, when we're performing CPR, so no adding anything to the car seat. I took it off my registry. Is that a little baby? Is that a little baby girl? <laughs> a little chocolate baby. <laughs> Aww. Um, and so the whole time that your baby is in the hospital, this ball syringe has to be in their bassinet with the baby at all times because in some um, little swabs, usually these cotton balls won't be this big, but you just put the alcohol on there. I gave you guys little alcohol swabs to practice with, so you can just rip open one of those. Okay, so here's the trick with umbilical cords. They can get nasty if you don't clean them. So while the baby has the cord, and do that. We used to wrap them up like little burritos, and then we found out that we were hindering their um, muscle development because everybody was wrapping babies up tight forever. My girlfriend wrapped her baby up like a burrito for six months, and he didn't learn how to crawl until he was six months old. It wasn't good. So, um, so what we do is we just kind of make a little triangle, put the baby's head at the, the flip side of the triangle, and then we're just going to wrap around this way, and then pull up the top. And pull around the other side. Hopefully you have to pull the top up first, babe. I think you did that wrong. So it kind of wraps them up. Yeah. Okay, so no. what this does is they're not so tight they can't move in there. And they can pull out their little arm if they want to. But sometimes when their nervous system is developing, they do these little spaz things where they like... like you learned a lot. You feel educated? Mm -hmm. Is that how you're going to hold the baby? Uh, yeah. Okay. Remember to do what? Hold the hip. Gotta hold the hip. Support the neck, Gotta yes. Support the neck. Support the neck. Okay. Okay. Are you gonna sing to it? Okay. If you're ready, so it is now, what time is it? 8.53, so we got there. The class started at 6.30, so it was a very long class, but very educational. Do you feel like you're equipped to have a baby? Yeah. Now we're starving. Tori was like really kicking me like, listen, it's time to eat. I didn't think I should have brought snacks. I don't know. I don't, as a pregnant person, you should just always have snacks because I am starving. But we're going to get something to eat. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I mean, I didn't get much of the talking part, but some of our activities. But like if you have one in your area, I would definitely go because some stuff I didn't even know about didn't think about was answered so um very educational class but all right guys talk to you later Bye. good morning good morning <clears throat> so it is the day after um our baby boot camp and i got a little bonus content for you because today is my glue close Glucose. I don't know why I have such hard time saying that word glucose um screening so that means that I have to take this syrupy drink and drink it down in five minutes so they can draw my blood to make sure I don't have any gestational diabetes. So this is what the drink looks like. Let's stop the car. So that's what it looks like. I have fruit punch flavor. And so I'm about to open it up and drink it down on my way over to the doctor's office because after that, I can't drink any water. I strictly have to um, just wait till they get my blood. So they told me to eat eggs this morning, but that sounded really repulsing and I didn't want to get sick. So instead I had like a handful of almonds just to put something on my stomach. Um, that's not gonna raise my glucose level. So I had some almonds and I'm about to open it up and try it. Hold on one second. 
because I gotta open it. Hold on. All right, guys, five minutes to drink this. Here we go. Oh, okay. It's really not bad, you guys. It tastes like, um, um, like, like fruit punch. Like, I don't know if it bothers some pregnancy, pregnant women because it's so sweet, but I don't know. It don't taste that bad to me. Call me a weirdo, but it's not that bad. Hold on. It is sweet. It's sweet, yeah, but it's not like, it's like drinking fruit punch in the morning as a kid. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be thick, but it's not thick, it's like watery still. So, I'm drinking it slow because it is sweet, but so, all right, guys. So, I'm gonna go to the doctor's office, finish this up, and then um, get this test done. Hopefully, everything turns out good, and you know, I don't have anything to worry about. So, all right, guys. So. Let me finish this up, finish this drink up. I'll let you guys know how. I think the hardest part of it is downing it in five minutes. Cause I do feel like it's a little much sweetness wise, but um, yeah. I think that's the worst part. So ladies, if you're doing your glucose test, it's not that bad. I have fruit punch, some people say orange is better, but I mean, I took it down like maybe, but I like popsicles. So if you like popsicles or Sonic slushes, girl, the drink is gonna be nothing. I'm a sweet head, so. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. I had to drink it down pretty fast. I was like, okay, but definitely put it in the refrigerator. Make sure it's definitely cold because drinking that junk warm would probably make you gag. It's like drinking warm, flat soda. But yeah, but it didn't taste like flat soda. It, it actually tastes like juice. Like it was, I don't know, it was really good. So, <sighs> y'all see, I've been on my natural tip because I don't know. You know, let me just vent a little bit. Like being pregnant, it's like you kind of feel a little. Is matronly the word? I don't know. Like you just feel a little motherly, like. You see people on Instagram taking all these like sexy pictures and whatnot, but I just kind of feel like blah. If I'm gonna be honest with you. So I'll have some inches later on, you know, when I feel like it. But for now, I'm just on some chill vibe, you know. Chill, not gonna do too much kind of vibe. And where my natural hair is just feeling pretty good right now, so this Georgia rain ever stops me from being great all right guys so I don't know if you know this or not but you have an hour to take your blood test after you drink this drink so I'm here now I just drink the drink they're gonna ask me the last time I took it I'm like it's been like five minutes and then they're gonna draw my blood so all right guys I'll be back squirrel <sighs> anyways the worst part about it is just letting it sit on your stomach it just doesn't make you feel too good after you drink it so 
I probably should have listened to ate some eggs beforehand, but I didn't. So it's all good. But um, I'm on my way to work. That's it, guys. I'll check in soon. Bye.